Yeah, Derek, what's going on? Hmm. How lime face? And what you want? Because you don't call me unless you want something. So what does you want? When you talk to Chucky, you mean you're actually being nice to me? Well, look at my, my cousin, Derek boy. Lani? Well, Derek, thanks for thinking about Lani. Yeah. He having some little challenges and thing, you know? Well, Chucky kind of explain it to you, right? All right, so what you want to do? All right, well, I will talk to the therapist and the fella at Allegory. And, um, sorry, Allegory, not Allegory. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh. Yeah, and um, I will find out what kind of things he need, you know, that might help him at home and thing. And you could drop off Derek Jr. because I realized that, um, you know, like when you're making things like food and you had to do ingredients thing step by step, he read like that kind of thing. Now. Like the step by step businesses help him. And you know, when little children play and they have a way they just do things. So if you bring Derek Jr., that might help him out plenty. They could play. It's like play therapy now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that on the ingredients list, I go send it for you, right? And that will be good for him. All right, Tuesday. All right, Derek, and tell Lime Face I say hello. Tell Giselle say hello. <laughs> oh, God. All right, Derek. Yeah, bye-bye. Now, concerning short-term memory, everything, or oh, there's another term for it, it's called working memory, right? So every single human being has a certain amount of working memory. It's not unlimited. For example, if I rattle off a string of numbers, one, three, seven, two, eight, four, three, 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 one, you, and I ask you to recite that back to me without looking at the video and going back, you're probably gonna lose some numbers in between, right? And that's because there's a certain amount that you can actually hold in your working memory. Now, that applies to all human beings. Now, in some cases, you can have degradation or reduction in the amount of uh, working memory or proficiency to use, to use your working memory. And you find that in cases where you're getting older and it's also present uh, in, with some, in some cases with children with autism. So there's some techniques that I actually use with my clients. There's actually a, a site called Cognitive Fun. I think it's really useful. I use it and it's free to use for now. Um, you can go on there and there are exercises for uh, memory, even executive function and other things like that. I, I might go into executive function later. But anyways, um, you can go on there and it gives them numbers. And there's other, another one for letters. There's others for shapes. The point is that you hold things in your working memory. Now, in that task, it gives them three numbers, then four numbers, then five numbers, and six numbers, and it pushes them to the limit. And I found consistently, and I've done this now, we've done this now with over 400 students. We're looking at maybe 420, 420 students in just a year and a half. And consistently, we've had improvements. Minimum is 20%. So they come in, they come in and they're able to to hold only three or four numbers, and then they leave being able to hold like seven and eight numbers, right? That's useful because the more information that you can hold in your working memory is the more information that you can manipulate, all right? Now let's give an example. I'm gonna call some numbers and you're gonna add them. Let's have nine plus nine. You know the answer, you don't have to calculate it, it's 18. But if I say what is 17 plus eight, now you have to do a little bit of math, right? Okay, so 17 plus eight is, uh, that's 25. I think it is. Okay, good. So it's a little harder than the other one. Now let's go for another one. 39 plus 27. That's harder. Now why is it harder? The first one you had the answer stored in your head. The second one you had to calculate, but now you have one, two, three numbers, and then the extra two numbers that come out on the side, you know, to give you the, the three, right? Okay, and then the next one, it's an even bigger number. So the idea is that it, the more information that you hold, the easier the questions are or the difficulty of the question is associated with the amount of working memory which is required to process it, all right? So there's a practical side of this. So we teach them the thing within numbers and they go through all that. It could be anything, it could be letters, whatever. But we do that because it gives us a way of measuring how proficient they are using a working memory or how much working memory they have, loosely speaking. Yeah, lime face, what's going on? 
Yes, he has one cousin just there uh, going on. You're still working in um Wasn't he my big financial place you're working? Yeah. Yeah there. He's a manager now. Well congratulations. I see all that lime face and help you out. They know you're serious about life and business. You understand? I want you to do my favor. <laughs> I want you to um, talk to some of your employees and things now. Yeah, them people you're working with. I know you like seeing me on TV. Don't mind you and I doesn't get along, but you know we just kind of get along. So here's what I want you to do. For the parts of we that just get along, I want you to go and talk to your co-workers. Tell them to go to our social media page called Cause and Effect. No D at the N or the A and the N eh? is Cause and Effect. Right? You go into the social media pages, you go see a WePay link, click on it, yes. tell them to donate, donate, like, share, subscribe, and donate. So you could keep seeing Giselle shelling down the whole nation about autism. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, alright. Yeah, I go send some food for you later. Later. Bye bye. It's a different kind of mind It is bubble real different than yours and mine It's a different kind of mind It's an old puzzle if you just try